You've heard it before, stop cracking your knuckles or you'll get arthritis. But is this really true, or is it simply just an old wives' tale? In this video, we'll uncover the truth about what's happening when your joints pop or crack. Is it harming your joints? And at the very end, I'm giving you two tips to help prevent hand pain and arthritis. First, let's talk about what's actually going on inside of your joints. Between each of your finger joints, you have a slippery liquid called synovial fluid. The main job of this fluid is to help cushion between the joints and help to lubricate them to support movement. Now this fluid can also include some dissolved gases. When you stretch the joint or move it in ways that it's not typically used to, these gases can lead to bubbles. And when these bubbles pop, that is that audible sound of cracking your knuckles. But does this habit actually harm your joints? Can it lead to hand arthritis? Let's take a look at the science. In the late 1990s, there was a doctor from California who put his theory to the test of how knuckle cracking impacts your hands. He essentially cracked his knuckles every day on his left hand and left his right hand untouched. And he did this for 50 years, logging over 36,000 cracks on his left hand. At the end of it, there was no increase or association between hand osteoarthritis and really no difference between his hands. This study looked at 200 participants between the ages of 50 and 89, comparing crackers with non-knuckle crackers. And what they found was there was no significant difference between arthritis rates in these two groups. Another study found there were no increased symptoms of disability, impaired function of the hand, or swelling in those that cracked their knuckles. Science shows that cracking your knuckles does not increase your risk for hand osteoarthritis, but certain behaviors do. And so I want to talk about now two quick tips that can help prevent hand arthritis. And while we're talking about joint health, I want to quickly share something that might help. I send out a free weekly email newsletter that's packed with tips to help you find pain relief, inspiration from other followers and subscribers and the wins they've been having, as well as simple exercises to keep your joints moving. It's all designed to help you regain your active lifestyle and find new adventures. It's completely free and has helped so many people take the first step to finally feeling better. Click the link down in the comments to sign up. You have nothing to lose. The first strategy in reducing your risk for hand osteoarthritis is regular movement of your fingers, hands, and wrists. These play such a huge role in supporting the small joints, those joints that tend to be the most susceptible to irritation, thus leading to pain, and even loss of function, loss of mobility. Some simple exercises include spreading your fingers apart and then bringing them together. 10 to 20 times, can do the trick. This helps to maintain mobility and work those small muscles involved in this motion. Next is turning your hands to the side, focusing on making a fist and then straightening your fingers. Make a fist as tight as you can and open up. This tends to work mobility and strength of the fingers and the thumb. 10 to 20 repetitions here can be a good place to start. Lastly, working the wrist, keep your fingers straight, point your fingers down, and then point them to the sky. Point them down and point them to the sky. Working those important wrist muscles that help to support the hand. Five to 10 repetitions can be a good place to start and then you will repeat on the other side. The second strategy to reduce your risk for hand arthritis is actually related to the foods that you eat. Certain foods can actually increase inflammation, which thus can increase irritation in a lot of joints, but the hand, finger, and wrist are included in this. 
I have a video here that you can go to to see the top foods that are going to reduce inflammation as well as what you should avoid. What might be secretly driving up inflammation? Cracking your knuckles likely isn't going to lead to hand arthritis. And regular movement and watching the foods you eat can actually help to support your joints in the long term, reducing your risk for hand arthritis. Have you heard any other myths or things about joint health that you're really not sure if it's true or not? Drop it down in the comments below. I'd love to explore these with you. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks on how to keep your joints healthy and pain-free. Thank you so much for watching.